Hi everyone and welcome to the second video on changing the subject of a formula. In this video we're going to be specifically looking at the formula that includes powers and roots. So by the end of this video you should be able to use your inverse operations along with the new ones for powers and roots to change the subject of a formula. Okay, most of the formula that we use often have powers and roots in them. So that's things like squares, square roots, cubes and cube roots. But sometimes you'll get a higher power, like a power of 4, which requires you to take the 4th root. So if we have something squared, undo that, we have to take the square root, and that works in the opposite direction as well. If we have a square root, we square it. That's exactly the same for something cubed, but instead of taking the square root, we now take the cube root, and vice versa. Take some time just now to copy this into your notes jotter. Okay, here's your first example then. So we have y equals x squared, and we want to change the subject to x. So you should see here that x is being squared, so to undo that, we are going to have to take the square root of both sides. So applying the square root to y, we don't get a value for that, we simply just get the square root of y. If we square root x squared, we're just left with x. So we have x as a subject of the formula, so x equals the square root of y. And example number two. So we have v equals to a squared, squared of u. And we're looking to change the subject to u. So identify your u term first of all as underneath the square root. The first thing that's happened to that there is we're taking the square root. We are then multiplying it by a. So we want to undo both of these things by doing opposites. We'll start with the multiplication by a. So we need to divide by a. So we'll do that to both sides of the formula. So that will leave us with b over a on the left and root u on the right. We then need to deal with the square root. So to undo the square root, we need to square both sides. If we square the root u, we're going to be left with u. But on the other side, we're going to have this fraction squared. So it goes inside the bracket with the square outside. But you can then flip this right so that the u is on the left hand side. And we've clearly changed the formula, changed the subject of that formula to u. Okay, and example number three now. So we've got a quite a bigger expression this time. We have a 3t minus 2 all over 5 underneath the square root. So we're looking to change the subject to t. So this term here, that's what we want on its own. So again, let's make a wee list to the side to see what's going on round about t. But first of all, multiply it by 3. We're then taking away 2. We're then dividing it by 5. And all of that is underneath the square root. So we have four things to undo this time. So to undo our square root, we want to square both sides. If we square the s, we're going to get s squared. Squaring the square root just leaves us with what's underneath it, so we get 3t minus 2 over 5. That's the first thing gone. Now we want to undo the divide by 5. We do that by times it by 5. Again, to both sides of the equation. So that will leave us with 5s squared on the left-hand side and 3t minus 2 on the right. Now for the takeaway 2, we need to add 2. That will give us the expression 5s squared plus 2 on the left-hand side and 3t on its own on the right. And the last thing to do is to undo the times by 3 by dividing by 3. So if we divide both sides by 3 here, then we're going to have a fraction on the left-hand side. So we have 5s squared plus 2 all over 3, and that equals to t. Again, we can flip that round to get t at the left. So t equals 5s squared plus 2 all over 3. And you can clearly see that t is now the subject of that formula. Okay, here are a couple of questions for you to try on your own. So there's two different formula here. If you can change the subject of these, and then your teacher will go over these with you in class.